counting, displaying text, and ending the game. We need a tool to store the value of our counted collectibles. Another tool to add that value as we count and collect them. Let's add that tool to our player controller script. Select the player game object and open the player controller script for editing. Let's add a private variable to hold our count. This will be an int as our count will be a whole number. We won't be collecting partial objects and let's call it count. So in our game we will first start with the count of zero. Then we will need to increment our count value one by one when we pick up a new object. First we need to set our count value to zero. As this value is private, we don't have any access to this variable in the inspector. This variable is only available for access within the script. As such, we will need to set its value within the script. There are several ways that we can set the starting value of count, but in this assignment we will do it in the start function. In our start function, set our count to be equal to zero. Next, we need to add a count to pick up our collectible game objects. We will pick up our objects and on trigger enter if the other game object has a tag pickup. So this is where we will add our counting code. After setting the other game object's active state to false, we add our new value of count is equal to our old game value of count plus one. There are other ways to add, count up or increment a value when coding for Unity, but this one is very easy to understand and this is the one we are going to use in this assignment. Save this script and return to Unity. Now we can store and increment our count, but we have no way of displaying it. It will be good to display a message when the game is over. To display text in this assignment, we will be using UI text to display our text and values. First, let's create a UI text object. Note that this automatically adds a canvas and an event system to your scene. For the moment, we can ignore these. These are needed to use the UI elements, but we will not be touching them in this assignment. Select the text object. Note that it has a rec transform instead of a transform. A rec transform is a special transform used by Unity to position UI on the screen relative to other UI elements. Reset the rec transform. Rename the text object to count text. We want count text to display in the upper left corner of the screen when the game is playing. We can see that the UI text is currently displaying in the center of the screen in the game view. This is because the rec transform of the UI text is set to center mode with X and Y set to zero. The numbers in the position refer to the screen size in pixels and are always relative to the anchor position. Let's change the UI text rec transform anchors to top left. Note that this does not change the position of the UI in the game view, but the numbers in the rec transform have changed. Let's fix that by changing pos x and pos y to 50 and negative 50. This puts it in the top left of our viewport. So let's wire up this UI text object to display our count value. Start by opening the player controller script for editing. Since we are using the UI, we need to add using unity engine.ui at the top of the script. Next, create a new public text variable called count text to hold a reference to the UI text component on our count text game object. We will need to set the starting value of the UI text. We can do this in start as well. Write count text dot text equals the string value of count plus count to string, and we need the parentheses. Now this line of code must be written after the line setting our count value. Count must have some value for us to set the text with. Now we also need to update this text property every time we pick up a new collectible. So in on trigger enter, after we increment our count value, let's write again count text dot text equals count plus count to string. We've now written the same line of code twice in the same script. This is generally bad form. One way to improve this is to create a function that does the work in one place, and we can simply call this function every time we need it. Let's create a new function with void set count text, and then an empty set of parentheses and brackets. 
Now let's move one instance of the line of code into the function by cutting and pasting it. And in its place, let's put a line of code simply calling the function. Finally, let's replace the other line with the function call as well. Excellent! Save and swap back to Unity. Now we see our character controller script has a new text property. We can create a reference to our UI text simply by dragging the count text game object into the slot. Unity will find the text component on the game object and correctly associate the reference. Now let's save, enter play mode and test. Aha! Not only do we collect these objects, but we count them now. Let's exit play mode. We need to display a message when we have collected all of the cubes. To do this, we will need another UI text object. Again, using the hierarchy create menu, make a new UI text object. In order to display properly, this new text object must be a child of the canvas object in the scene. We want this text to display in the center of the game screen, but up a little so it doesn't cover the player game object. Simply adjust the rec transform pos y to 50 so it stays centered but up a little. Next adjust the vertical alignment and horizontal alignment to center. Rename the game object win text. Save the scene and swap back to our scripting editor. We need to add a reference for the new UI text component. Create a public text variable and call it win text. Now let's set the starting value for the win text variable. This is set to an empty string or two double quote marks with no content. This text property will start empty. Then in the setCountText function, let's write if count is greater than or equal to 12, which is the total number of objects we have in our game to collect. Then our winText.text equals uwin. Save this and return to Unity. Again on our player, our player controller has a new text property. Associate the text again by dragging the win text game object into the slot. Save the scene and play. So we're picking up our game objects. We're counting our collectibles. And we win. And as you can see, when we have collected 12 objects, we display the you win text. In the next and last assignment of this series, we will build and deploy this game as a web player.